NVIDIA is going to be a big deal. And the reason why it's such a big deal, it's not even because it's the last bullet. It's really, you know, it's really sentiment here. You just think about this. You know, this stock is not your ordinary uh, name coming out with earnings. Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to another edition of uh, the AccessToTrader.com nightly update show. Hope everybody is doing well. Hope everybody had a good uh, trading day. Hope everybody's enjoying uh, their lives. And again, hope everybody's happy. That's the most important thing of any single day after everything else, uh, life, happiness, uh, and all that crap that we have follows is just a gravy on top that we uh, try to rationalize to feed our own ego. So it's, again, it's all about happiness, all about health. So hopefully uh, both are in your life. So let's talk about the tape. So let's do a quick history lesson. Uh, again, we below below the 20-day moving average. Uh, this was about three weeks ago. Uh, and in the midst of the 20-day moving average, why it was so important, again, we lost this whole major trend line that we had uh, for 2023 and again did the market go straight down no absolutely not we had we had some uh some moves down we had some moves up we had some moves down but all this was taking place uh below the 20-day moving average then we went all the way down to the 50-day moving average held there for a couple of days then we finally got below the 50-day moving average and again we went down three four straight days and now we're having a little bit of a dead cat balance in the last couple of days and the question was how long right that was the question for uh last night's video how long uh, can this dead cat uh, bounce? Uh, today, uh, just like yesterday, the market uh, started moving up. The market got pulled, right? The market got pulled uh, just like yesterday. The only difference between yesterday and today's session was yesterday the market came back like like a, a, a rabid uh, hyena that hasn't eaten in, in a week uh, versus today. And you can see here by uh, the 60-minute view, we gapped today and we went straight down. And, you know, we, the Q's... Uh, down about 50 cents in the day. And the most important part is it's not a question of is that the end of the dead cat bounce? Okay, because keep this in mind, all this activity is happening below the 50 day moving average. So we're one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Tomorrow will be day eight below the 50 day moving average. And like I said, for me to feel comfortable, risk back on. Okay, we're going to have to reclaim back this uh, 370, 371 area on the close where the coast is clear. The problem with uh, the problem with uh, getting back above the 50-day moving average is, well, you need some sort of catalyst. Okay, uh, we we went through the entire earnings season, uh, mixed bag of earnings as we all saw: Tesla, uh, Netflix, um, you know, Microsoft, Meta, Apple, Google, Amazon, and none of that really did anything, right? You had your you know you had random days up, you had your random days down, but ultimately we are here. Okay, we are below supply and nothing good macro wise happens below supply and now the question is well where's the catalyst what's going to get us back above the 50-day moving average and here's kind of you know the answer here okay tomorrow is the video okay i i believe tomorrow is probably the last bullet of sentiment uh the bulls are probably going to hang on to uh for the near future and the reason why i say that is all the other uh, major companies are out of the way. Matter of fact, when you look at the landscape, right, the landscape of what's been going on uh, for the last several days or the last several weeks, you're seeing pressure in S&P names and Dow names in energy. And today you saw pressure in uh, retail and you saw continued pressure with banks. S&P today uh, downgraded selective banks, kind of took the cue from Fitch. Uh, from a couple of weeks ago, I believe Moody's as well. I could I could be wrong on Moody's, but definitely Fitch. Uh, so that took the pressure down. Today, uh, letter M, Macy's, which I still have a runner short overnight. Uh, you had letter M and Dick Sporting Goods. Uh, you know, very light. You know, very, very light. Gave soft guidance, you know, blamed uh, consumer uh, confidence, basically via uh, credit card Parse, uh, credit card uh, defaults that they're seeing or late payments. So that obviously didn't firm well. So when you have the two strongest groups in Main Street, right? The Main Street America part of Wall Street, which is retail and which is the banks and they're putting pressure, it's very, very tough to get excited. Well, what's the next catalyst up? Again, is it possible 
everything gets negated because again, bad news gets negated all the time. And the market a week from now is back above the 50 day moving average and we're rallying and everything I've been saying is completely irrelevant because the market deemed it irrelevant, but there's a flip side, right? There's a flip side and that's kind of our reality. Again, we continue to build below supply, not only in the queues. When you look at the spies, right? When you look at the spies, the spies are one, two, three, four, five days, right? Five days at a dead cat bounce, got rejected off the 100 day moving average, completely rolled over. If you look at the IWM, there's no rally at all on the IWM. The IWM has been below the 50 day moving average for two weeks, had one up day, and it's done absolutely nothing. It's in a stalemate. It's not a stalemate to go higher. It's a stalemate uh, potential to get below this bottom channel. When you look at the diamonds, right? The Dow Jones Industrial Average. Now this is day four below the 50 day moving average. And now we're putting in lower highs below the five day, which is the shortest term sentiment. So yeah, NVIDIA is going to be a big deal. And the reason why it's such a big deal, it's not even because it's the last bullet. It's really, you know, it's really sentiment here. Just think about this. You know, this stock is not your ordinary uh, name coming out with earnings that had a big run. You had stocks that have big runs and then you have stocks that are up 212% year to date coming out with earnings. Okay. And it's trading like a low float stock. So this has been on a tremendous tear. Uh, we had a phenomenal, phenomenal reversal today. Congratulations to everybody uh, who caught the couple of pivots today to the downside in the video. But these are the facts. I, I, I think with a 212% year to date type of scenario, I think in my opinion, and I don't know, right? I have no idea what's going to happen tomorrow on earnings. You could literally have, you could literally sit there with the earnings report in front of your face going into earnings and the price action might completely go the opposite of your way. It's, 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 when I talk about a gamble, it's a gamble. It doesn't take a lot of skill set into bet into, uh, into an earnings, uh, into an earnings play. It's just, it's luck. It's, it's like, again, it's like this 10 major league baseball games tonight. Why don't you just go on DraftKings? At least you'll have a, you, you can watch a baseball game for three hours. It's pure gambling. Tomorrow you're going to see people YOLO in on the long side. You have YOLO in on the short side. And you have people destroy their account one way, destroy their account on the other way. And again, at least they have a story to tell or a blog post to write. But again, for all, all of us who are responsible adults, we kind of know, you know, the other plays, you know, leading up to the video, leading after the video is going to, to really command our attention for the short term. And here, you know, here are the numbers. You have uh, the estimates for tomorrow. You have 8.25 uh, for earnings uh, EPS and you have 44 and a half. Uh, billion dollars for revenue. And, and again, in my opinion, they have to destroy their numbers to continue this. And, and again, I, I might be wrong. They might miss the numbers and continue to rally. But again, I think tomorrow uh, is going to be a very, very important uh, last bullet. Okay. I don't want to, you know, make it more dramatic than it is. But again, if you, if you've been watching, if you're an active trader, you kind of know the significance of tomorrow's session. Okay. Do we uh, continue the, you know, we get rejected and continue to build below the 50 day moving average? And the video seals, you know, the faith of the bulls. Very possible. You know, can the video come out with a quarter and it's up a hundred points tomorrow? Absolutely. The the options market right now is pricing in a, I believe, a forty three point move uh, in either direction. We saw five hundred calls. We saw five four hundred puts. Gun. It's a crapshoot. It's an absolute crapshoot. But the most important part is what happens uh, after the report. Um, look, I, the jury is out yet. Like I was telling, like I was talking today. Uh, in the webinar, it, it wasn't one of those five-star overnights. Just because we gave back, uh, just, just because we gave back today's gains, because again, at the end of the day, we still put in a higher low from yesterday's session, which put in a higher low from the previous session. Where it's going to be a uh, very, very important is this five-day moving average. In case tomorrow, uh, in case tomorrow we give up the the five-day moving average, and the five-day moving average right now. Uh, is 361 on the queues. That's going to be the most important part because right now they got rejected off the 100. They got rejected uh, off the 10. The last area here, if they lose the five-day moving average, and if they do lose the five-day moving average of 361, which, which is basically the line in the sand, then yeah, we're going to start coming back uh, into recent lows from several days ago. So again, tomorrow uh, is a very, very important day. Um, you know, I have uh, some, you know, I've been predominantly stocks that I'm looking for follow through to the downside tomorrow. Um, I, I don't really see any charts that are standing out right now. Uh, and I say, buy me, buy me. It's just, you know, again, it's one of those scenarios. So 361 guys, uh, that is the line in the sand going into tomorrow. Is it possible we have one of those sessions tomorrow that everything is quiet? Everybody's waiting for, uh, everybody is ready, waiting for the Jackson Hole. 
waiting for, you know, the NVIDIA. Listen, everything's possible, right? Everything's on the table, right? Like I say, every single day, you have to be prepared. And that's what we do. Uh, we are prepared every single day. And the most important part going into tomorrow's session, I know that how important that 361 level. So if we continue to teeter, 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 and the video comes out with bad numbers, again, you don't need to convince me three times, right? I need to take some sort of Twitter poll of what people think is going to happen. We lose that 361 on the close on the queues. We're going back down to recent lows. So it's very, very uh, important to see what happens tomorrow. Uh, you know, names, you know, that I like for tomorrow, uh, we started shorting uh, this uh, letter M today, opening range lows. Uh, stock pretty much closed at the lows. Again, softness in retail, not a good look uh, for Main Street. You know, listen, if this thing starts confirming below uh, today's channels tomorrow, this thing's going to get hit. Look at DKS for tomorrow. Again, another stock that got hit. Look, you know, look at the 60 minute view, right? Look at the 60 minute, minute view on Dix, right? This thing starts losing the 60 minute view. Dix is going lower. It's only transitory, honey. I promise it's only transitory, right? So Dix looks good. Urban Outfitters reported after the close, you know, up a buck, but you know, again, up a buck on, on our earnings, but we know what happens on earnings, right? What happens tomorrow if, 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 if Urban Outfitters gives back its earnings and starts confirming the 50 day moving average, right? This thing's gonna go lower as well. Uh, Disney I've been watching for weeks and weeks and weeks. It keeps on getting close to the bottom of the range and then keeps on balancing. I'm still watching it guys. This is something that you should, you should warrant your attention uh, for the next couple of days, maybe next couple of weeks, but because if, if Disney starts losing the bottom of this channel here, again, this is a, you know, this is nearly a two month consolidation. It could be good, right? So it's something we definitely want to watch uh, for tomorrow as well. Uh, outside the bigger names today, just to give you an example how sentiment has shifted a little bit, both Amazon and Google were upgraded this morning, right? Amazon was red. I mean, well, again, in a good market, you don't see stocks that are upgraded going back down. Tesla had a great, you know, two-day run, you know, got rejected off the 20-day. I want to watch this thing. Well, let's watch Tesla again again tomorrow. If this thing starts losing back uh, the 100-day moving average, who the hell knows? Maybe this thing starts uh, going back to recent lows. So the stage is set tomorrow. Uh, you got the Fed, uh, you got the Fed, you have NVIDIA, all eyes obviously on NVIDIA. Uh, you know, again, if the, if, the, if the bulls have one bullet, it's going to be NVIDIA. And the one thing that I will, uh, I will tell, especially to the new traders, you know, guys, you have a long career, okay? You don't need to gamble your account on, on, on earnings. You don't. I understand the euphoria is in the, in the air, everything with once, it's easy money. You guys remember what that sounds like? It's like those, it's like when they were betting the 300 calls on Tesla. You guys remember that? Easy money, easy money. It's free money. It's free money. It's free money. It's free money. You know, Tesla at one point was 85 points uh, off the off the recent run. So again, there's no such thing as easy money. Take your bites, right? You don't eat the whole cow. Okay. When you go, you know, when you go into, uh, when you go into uh, the restaurant, for example, right? You don't order everything on the menu. You order your specific dish, take small bites. That's what this business is all about. Small bites, small bites, small bites. You don't want to be uh, overly, uh, overly gordish, right? El Gordo. So guys, for all you guys who are thinking about yellowing in one way or another, again, if you want a long career, think back, you know, take a step back. If you're doing this strictly for the gamble, strictly for the joy, I wish God is on your side and hopefully it will work out in your way. Guys, have a great night, everybody. Uh, let's see what happens tomorrow. And with God's help, all of us will be there. Take care.